It's Dusk, a bite-sized love story. It was originally intended to be performed as a one-act show, which is a play on words there. Um, but it is now a full-length musical. And um, the idea actually came about during the last show we were working on. It was the lighting designer for the show, and I was just messing around and made a joke about something, and it led to talking about the baseball scene in Twilight, how funny that would be on stage. Um, and then it just kind of spiraled from there. <laughs> so it wasn't, it wasn't ever the intention of, oh, we're going to sit down and write a musical. It just kind of happened pretty organically, and it's been a fun process for the past year. Anyone who's familiar with Twilight or the format of Twilight and the story being told there would recognize a lot of scenes and characters or caricatures of characters from the first movie and book. Um, there are also other characters from throughout the series that make appearances and that kind of helps structure this show. But I think um, anyone who's more familiar with the memes surrounding Twilight or internet culture and jokes about that franchise would recognize a lot of that in this. It has a lot of like those awkward and like cringy elements that Twilight is like notorious for having and it's really funny, awkward. It's on, it's a blast to play. Uh, I play Eglet, um, which some more context behind that character is um, in the movie his name's Emmett and there's like one iconic scene where he walks in he's like in an all-white sweatsuit he's like the really strong one and he has like this bag of eggs which is funny because they can't eat eggs so he just has them and he just boils eggs for no reason and so they named him Egglet for that reason um, he has some interesting scenes some some surprise cameos here um, maybe a dance or two um, and he does some cool stuff I've never done a musical here at Gannon I have, this is my first one. I received an email and I thought it'd be really funny to be in a parody of Twilight and I'm so glad I did it. Um, I've done a lot of musicals in high school, but I figured why not do it in college as well. So this is my first time being here. I really like it. I play Bia, or some people might know her as Bella from the original series and she's a really fun character to play. I find myself copying her mannerisms in my own life, which is kind of concerning, but it's, it's really funny and I think a lot of people would enjoy it, especially if people enjoyed the original movies. Nobody knows what to expect at all. They just know it's like some Twilight parody. Um, and so they'll be reacting to it for the first time. And there's some interesting scenes. There's some funny scenes. There's a lot of like funny characters. And so it'll definitely be pretty interesting. I am personally excited for opening night. I have a lot of things planned for like special things to add, which is kind of scary for the director, but I think, I think they'll be interesting. The students that are in the show and then other actors who have just decided they wanted to be involved um, are really working hard and they're bringing these characters to life, which is difficult because it's something that they know, but then has changed a little bit and adapted to be through the lens of comedy. Um, so it's been really cool seeing them do that, especially actors I've only seen in serious roles before. So that's been really fun. They're all committed to learning new skills and um, come every day with new ideas that they're bringing to the table. So the whole process has been really collaborative and even just like the development process, um, the musicians are from all around the world. So that's been really cool. And we've gotten a chance to learn a lot about the development process of a show and the industry in general. So it's, I hope, a good learning experience for them. That's what I would really hope that they take out of it.